Thinking about selling your home? Well, we've got great tips on how to get it show ready to sell. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damien, Angela's sidekick. And today we're going to give you 10 tips on how to get your home show ready to sell. These tips are very important, especially in today's market. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. And if you are thinking about selling this year in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always call me at 702-370-5112. All right, so let's get started. Welcome to the journey of turning your home into a show-stopping wonderland for potential buyers. Whether you're a seasoned seller or a first-time home buyer, navigating the real estate market, preparing your home for showings is a crucial step in the selling process. As your favorite Las Vegas realtor, I'll guide you through the must-know list of expert tips and tricks designed to elevate your space, captivate buyers, provide a positive impression, and increase the likelihood of a successful sale. Selling a home is an intricate process that involves more than just putting a for sale sign in the yard. It's about making your property appealing to potential buyers and ensuring it stands out in the competitive real estate market. Here's a comprehensive guide on what sellers should do to get their home ready for sale. And number one on our list is clean and declutter. And when I mean clean, I mean clean, clean, clean. Clean every nook and cranny of your home, the from the every room, every closet, every storage space, declutter all unnecessary items. You're gonna be moving anyway. Might as well just get rid of it, right? Yeah, you can always buy new. It's <laughs> always you can always buy new and it's always great to purge. It feels so good to purge. Mm. Because we want your home to be visualized by the buyers as to what it would look like in their eyes mm -hmm. and not a lived in home, right? Yes. Um, and when I mean clean, also the bathrooms, the showers, the toilets, I mean, hire a professional and then clean from the professional or clean and then hire a professional. That's how clean it needs to be, spick and span. <laughs> and also another thing is people, when they are looking, they open your cabinets and doors. Have that organized and cleaned out and purged as well. Mm -hmm. Number two is depersonalize. Remove personal items such as family photos, personalized decorations, and unique artwork. You don't want them thinking about you, you want them thinking about the home. This helps potential buyers envision themselves in the space. Neutralize decor. A fresh coat of paint does wonders. Keep the paint consistent throughout. Paint walls and neutral colors to appeal to a broader range of buyers. Consider updating or removing bold or personalized decor. And very important, keep it simple. Yes. So if you do have your home painted in green in one room, yellow in another, and a purple in another, it turns buyers off because they don't want to paint that room. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do it. So I highly suggest that you repaint the entire inside of the house so it's nice and fresh and appealing to all buyers. Paint it a neutral color like white, off-white, even gray. agreeable gray <laughs> or repose gray, very light shade of gray that'll check all buyers because nothing says loud than those colors mm. and oftentimes it turns buyers away yes right um, and depersonalize when I go into a home and I see photos of families guess what I'm doing I'm looking at the photos of the families. I'm looking at the photos seeing what type of people live there yeah. so you want to make sure that you have no photos of your family because, you know, that's kind of personal and you don't want them like infringing on your privacy. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what it feels like. Number three, make repairs. Fix any noticeable issues such as leaky faucets, chip paint, or broken tiles. Ensure all appliances are in working order and address any maintenance concerns. 
Ensure walls are freshly painted as we discussed, or if they are freshly painted that there are no scuff marks on it, use that Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and make sure any necessary repairs are done throughout the home. Consider upgrading hardware, faucets, and light fixtures, things that can give your home a modern uh, and appealing look. Now, especially burnt out light bulbs, you wanna make sure all light bulbs are operational and consider switching it out to bright lights, which we're gonna go into lighting in, in a minute. <laughs> but before we do that, let's get into number four, which is curb appeal because first impressions matter. Enhance your home's exterior by maintaining the lawn trimmings, bushes, and considering adding some potted plants or flowers. This helps with the curb appeal. Power wash the exterior, clean the windows, and repaint the front door if needed. The entrance sets the tone for the entire showing. Create a welcoming entrance by ensuring it's inviting by placing a clean doormat, adding potted plants, and making sure the entry area is well lit and free from debris. Outdoor spaces can be a significant selling point. In other words, yards help sell homes. Very true. So no one's gonna wanna go inside a house that has a yard that looks like crap, right? Mm -hmm. Because oftentimes the outside depicts of what's inside. So curb appeal is very, very important. And actually it's the first picture, you know, first they say, impression. yeah, first impression and mm -hmm. the picture tells us that thousand words and that's what's going to tell about your home. So first impressions are important. And number five, as I talked about, lighting. Ensure good lighting is in every room. Open curtains or blinds to let in natural light. Clean windows to ensure they sparkle and contribute to the bright. So not only clean them from the outside, but clean them from the inside. And replace burnout bulbs and consider higher wattage bulbs to brighten up dim spaces. A dark room does not sell a house. So let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Also, if you have a showing appointment and it's owner occupied, turn on all the lights for your real estate agent or for the agent that will be shown your home. That way it is shown in the best possible light. Mm. Number six on the list, stage your home. Make a great impression. Arrange furniture to showcase the functionality and flow of each room. If a room has an unconventional use, consider staging it to showcase its intended purpose. Create conversational seating areas that make the space feel inviting. Use neutral decor to create a welcoming atmosphere. Use soft furnishings like throw pillows to add warmth and comfort. Less is more. Exactly. And you know, sometimes if you're selling a vacant home, mm -hmm. it's important to stage the home. That way people can get an idea of how the furniture should be placed. They say that stage homes sell better than vacant homes. And number seven, set the right temperature. Keep the temperature comfortable during the showings. If it's hot outside, consider turning on the air conditioning and in colder weather, ensure the home is adequately heated. Turn on ceiling fans if needed to help circulate the air. Now we show a lot of vacant homes mm -hmm. and man, are those homes free and cold? <laughs> or when we show them in the summertime, it's hot. I don't care if you want to save on energy, be a smart seller and ensure that your AC or heater is on during your selling time. You want them to feel comfortable. Yes, because it is when it's hot outside and it's hot inside, who wants to look at a hot house or vice versa? Right. Number eight address odors and your pet presence. Eliminate any unpleasant odors by cleaning carpets, drapes, and furniture. Consider using air fresheners or baking soda to neutralize smells. Hide pet products in food bowls. Remove pet odors and stains. Consider boarding pets or taking them out during showings. Keep those carpets pet odor free. Yes, especially I see a lot of uh, people that cage their animals. So sometimes when I show houses, we'll see the animals caged and luckily they're not barking dogs, but still that's kind of, to me, inhumane to cage your animal inside the house. Consider like Damien mentioned, bordering your pets or taking them out for a walk. Yeah, a lot of people do that too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are turned off if the sellers have pets. So we want to eliminate or minimize, minimize pet presence. Yeah. And number nine, highlight key features. Set the scene. Draw attention to your home's best features, whether it's a fireplace, a beautiful view, updated bathroom, or a spacious kitchen. Let it be inviting. Use tasteful accessories like mirrors and artwork or rugs to enhance the overall aesthetic. Number 10, 
use a professional photographer. Invest in a professional photographer to showcase your home and online listings. High quality images can attract more potential buyers. In the digital age, the majority of home buyers begin their search online. Stunning photos increase the likelihood that your listing will stand out among the many others and attract more clicks and views. Quality photos contribute to a positive perception of your property. Buyers may associate well-presented photos with a well-maintained and cared for home. And this is number, this should actually be number one on the list, but you have to get ready. Then you take the photos, but the most important thing is hiring a professional photographer. If you have an agent that is using their cell phone to take photos of your home, no, that's not acceptable, especially in this day and age. People are shopping online. And oftentimes, if you don't have very good photos or any photos at all, guess what? They're next. skipping your house. Mm -hmm. Next, next. I mean, mm -hmm. I do it when I send listings to my clients. If it's a, if I can't see the photos and if they're like really bad, guess what? On to the next one, mm -hmm. okay? It's very important. There's no reason why a real estate agent should not use a professional photographer, period. Yeah. Okay. The goal is to make your home appealing and help potential buyers visualize themselves living there. A well-prepared home can often sell more quickly and potentially fetch you a better price. Key is to create a clean, neutral, and inviting environment. Small investments in time and effort can significantly impact the overall appeal of your property. By implementing these tips, you're not only increasing the market value of your property, but also creating an inviting canvas where potential buyers can envision their own stories unfolding. As you open your doors to prospective owners, know that the care and attention you've invested will undoubtedly set your home apart. Oh, Mochi said, yes, whatever Damien said. And you can <laughs> add this to the, <laughs> you can add it. Momo opened the door and said he wants to be in the video and I haven't showcased an animal in a long time. So mm. this is Mochi. Best of luck on the sale of your home and may the next homeowner find as much joy in your space as you have. So Mochi says, if you're thinking about selling your home, you need to contact your favorite Las Vegas realtor because now is the time to get your home show ready to sell and these tips will sure get it to sell faster and top dollar. Mm. Anyway, guys, again, if you're thinking about selling your home in Las Vegas this year, contact me at 702-370-5112. Or you can click on the link to a buyer and seller form down in the description below. Most importantly, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, folks, for more insights on selling your home in Las Vegas. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.